Hi everyone, my name is Mr Kushway, I'm the head of Core Maths and I'm going to go through the year 12 induction review today. So the plan is to have a look at what Core Maths is because you might not be aware of what the course is, um, how the course is going to work, what you need to study, what you're going to study and I'm going to go for an example activity that we sort of, the sort of things we look at in the course. So first things first, this course was introduced sort of in the last five or six years or so and it was to try and promote more people to do maths after GCSEs. So they found out from looking at other countries across the world that a lot of countries were, were carrying on with maths, whereas in the UK there wasn't as much. So this course was put in to try and help bridge that gap between sort of the GCSEs and going on to either university or apprenticeships, whatever you look at doing. Um, it's an AS level. It can go for one or two years, and I've opted for two years so you keep keep applying those maths. Now instead of the, it being just sort of like in the GCSE where you're just answering questions like solve this equation, solve this, do this. It's all about applications with, with, with maths in this one. So it's all about what maths can you do with with the data and the information that you've got. And there's also a big push on technology. So we'll have to use a lot of Microsoft Office stuff. So it's going to be Word, Excel and, and PowerPoint where a big push on, on Excel. Okay. So we'll teach you how to use that, but it's good if you can beforehand to have a little play and see how you get on. Um, for those that are looking at it, it's best suited for those subjects which have a bit of maths in it, but you don't need a full maths at all to do it. So we're looking at biology, business, chemistry, geography, psychology, um, sociology is in there as well. It's all those subjects where you've got maths in there, but it's not that maths heavy. Now I'm asking for a grade five in both English and maths. Reason being it's quite a word heavy, this, this, this subject. So there's, there's a lot of comprehension involved. So you have to that get information, read through the informa information, understand it, and then sort of draw out what you can do mathematically with it. So I'll need a grade five in both English and maths. Now I'm not bothered with the maths and whether that's foundation or higher. Okay, so it's suitable for, for both, but yeah, that's great you need. Now, as I already said, this course is gonna run over two years and the way lessons will go, you'll either be looking at some information, look at some data and then applying the maths that we, we, we know for it, or, it'll be to learn a new skill, all right? So it all depends on what where we are in the course, depends on what we'll be doing. Now, when we do need to new skills, we'll spend a whole lesson going through it, and then you'll have some work at home to, to build on that. But the majority of the time it will be, what can we do with this information? And then we're gonna crack on and do it. Um, I've adapted the course slightly this year, so it's gonna be more investigation based rather than sort of textbook based so a lot of your work will be on projects and things like that so in terms of homework you'll get homework frequently but it all depends on what we're doing lesson depends on how you what homework you're going to have there's going to be five hours of fortnight um and some of the lessons will be computer based so i said that it's, it's a big emphasis on technology so there'll be a lot of computer based stuff um there are no setting between the classes so I quite like the idea of having mixed ability classes within within the sets because there's different ways of thought that can go into solving these problems. So sometimes it's not just a bang straight in with some, some maths. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of thinking and those sort of different abilities can provide different solutions. And one of the main bits that sort of people like about this course is that there is no coursework. Okay, so it's just purely exams at the end. Now, the exams you're going to have, there's two exams, both at the end of year 13. So you've got a comprehension paper and an application paper. The, app, the comprehension paper, we get a source material. So like you're doing in English and, and geography and things like that, you'll kind of know the topics that the exam is going to be on. So you'll know the information that you're going to have beforehand. And we get this about six weeks before, so normally around Easter time. And what we'll do in lessons and outside lessons, we'll go through the source material. And then we'll try and find what we can work out from it, what we could potentially be asked. And you kind of get an idea of what the what the questions could be on the paper. All right. Now the second one, the application paper, is the same sort of idea, but we don't get the source material beforehand. So you won't see any of the information you on the exam until you sit the exam. Now you can see the difference in the marks. You can see that the, the comprehension paper is 60 marks, application paper is 80. Reason being is that the comprehension paper, the questions are normally a little bit more difficult, purely because you know 
you can have a, a, a good idea of what could be asked. So the application paper is generally a little bit easier, but there's a lot more to do. And you can sit both exams an hour and 40 minutes long. Now, in order to do this, you'll need your basic equipment. Um, in terms of calculators, you, you will have had one from GCSE and that will suffice for this course. You don't need anything extra or above that. I will recommend the Casios because they're a bit more user friendly, but I can show you in September the, the types of calculators you can have. But if you are looking for them, the, the old school Casios are fine. The ClassWiz ones, if you get the A-level one, it's about 25 quid, but it, it does a lot of stuff and it. it can save you a lot of time. All right. Um, in terms of textbooks, there is one on Amazon. I'm going to try and stay away from it at the moment. Things might change, but we have got textbooks in school for you to get. But if you are interested, you can get on Amazon. It was around £14 when I wrote this. Um, and it's the Maths in Context book for Excel. In terms of your notes, I'm kind of going to give you a recommendation, but it's up to you how you do it. So my recommendation is that you have two separate folders. One is for all the techniques and things that we learned, so the new skills. The other is for the investigations and the classwork. And the reason I've sort of suggested this way is that when you're doing these, these investigations, if you need to learn or quickly go over how to do a specific skill, it can be easier just to have that in a separate folder. But like I said, it's entirely up to you. In terms of what we'll study, the actual like areas of, that we can look at is, is limitless, all right? So I've put some examples on there, but we can literally do anything you want. So the maths is in is everywhere. You can find it in any sort of topic you look at. So if there is something in your subject areas you're looking at or something you see on the news or something you're just interested in, if you speak to me, I can always build that in and we can always do bits on that in lessons. But we literally will cover such a range of topics is unreal. In terms of the maths that you're going to learn, like I said, it kind of bridges the gap between GCC A level and then moves you on into into university or, or apprenticeships, wherever you look at doing. So there are some new skills and there are some bits which are a little bit tricky to get your head around. Some new big formulae, stuff like that. But it's all geared up towards being able to use it rather than just sort of for the sake of it. So everything you learn can be used in industry and in your studies. So that's helpful. Now, this is an example activity. This is something that I would have done with you if we were doing this as we normally would, but I'll, I'll leave it up for you to have a look and you can take a picture and if you want to send me a solution, feel free. But the, the example, the, the activity we'd look at is something like this. So what would be cheaper to do? Build a rocket to go to the moon or create a stack of pound coins to reach the moon? Now, it may not seem that there's a lot to do in this, but there's a lot of information that you'd need to be able to do. It. So I wouldn't tell you any information for this. You'd have to go and find it yourself. Now, you could just Google it. That's what most people would normally do in that situation, but it kind of defeats the point of the course. So the course is for you to be able to analyse these problems, find the information you need, think about what maths you need to do, and then do it. So you want to think about what sort of things in terms of the rockets you need to know, and what sort of stuff about pound coins you need to know, and then you can start to build up a, an idea of what you're going to do. So yeah, feel free if you want if you want to have a go, at it, get an answer, send it to me, and um, I'll have a look. But other than that, we're all done. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email is josh.cushwaitdavenant.org. Um, if not, I look forward to seeing you in, in September. Cheers, guys.